Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the Sudoku Tudes set of puzzles. Now, this is a new constraint that I've come up with, which I thought I would play with, which is called Projected Outside. And the puzzle is called In Concert. Um, and this is a puzzle where I'm not really 100% comfortable with the wording on the rules. I've spoken to about six or seven different people about the wording on the rules, and we've come up with what we think works, but we're definitely interested in feedback. I don't think that um, I, I, I'm someone who likes to workshop rules and try and make them as clean as possible. And I don't think this has been done with these yet. Um, no one has been able to come up with a better suggestion than these. And these aren't uh, definitely aren't my original wordings. We've definitely uh, other people have um, provided feedback onto these, but I think it could be better. So if you've got any complaints about the rules or suggestions for how it could be done better, I'd be interested in comments on that below. If you do just have complaints, please, why are they better? Bad, and what is your suggestion to improve them? Um, because just turning around and saying, well, they suck, doesn't necessarily help. Why do they suck and what would make them better? So let's go through the rules and then attempt the puzzle. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply, which means in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Then we've got projected outside, which is digits outside the grid must be placed in the three adjacent uh, pl placed in the three adjacent cells in that row or column, starting from the position indicated by the lowest cell in the clue, as seen from that side of the grid. So e.g. a 145 on the left side of the grid means that digits 1, 4 and 5 must be placed in column 1, 2, 3 in that row. So if there was a 145 here, the 1 would mean that we are starting in column 1 and we would have to put 145 in three cells there. A 256 on the right side of the grid um, would, or we'll use the 246 here, but a 256 on the right side of the grid would mean that the digits 2, 5, and 6 have to be placed in columns 6, 7, and 8, because we would be count, the 2 would be the lowest digit, and we would be counting 1, 2, and then we would be counting 3 cells from there. So an example with this 238 is the 2 is the lowest digit, so we are counting 1, 2, and we are counting 3 cells from there, and that's where the 238 have to go. 6 and 9 mean we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and those are the 3 cells where we have to place 6 and 9. 4, 5, 7, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, because 4 is the lowest, and those are the 3 digits that have to contain the 4, the 5, and the 7. This is how projected outside works. So it's sort of a weird combination between something like X sums and a little bit of stuff like that. But the lowest digit is predicting where the outside or which three cells have to contain the digits. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, these three digit clues allow us to do pencil marking. The 256, we count two and we start the three cells from there. So these digits have to be two, five, and six. 234 means that we count one, two, and these digits have to be two, three, four. Now, with that, we we know, well, we actually, let's just jump to this three, four, five, because we count one, two, three, and we know these digits have to be three, four, five. So we can't put a two there because these digits are three, four, five. We can't put a five here because these are two, three, four. So five is in one of those two. There's no five here, but the two in this triple is now in one of those two. So there's no two here. This is five, six. This becomes the two. Okay. Um, and we get that down to those. This says that three, four, five has to start one, two, three. So these digits are three, four, five, and we end up with the three, four, five triple here. But for this three, four, five, the five has to be in one of those two. So that can't be a five. One, four, seven has to be in those three cells because we're starting in the first cell. But we've got something here, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four. These have to be four, five, seven. So there's no three here because these are four, five, and seven, which means that can't be a five. That has to be the six. That has to be the five. This can't be a four because this is a four, five, seven. And this can't be a four or a seven because the four, five, seven starts in the fourth cell. So this has to be the one and there's no one there. Okay. That's some stuff. I haven't solved this in a couple of months, so I'm just rediscovering everything. 
three, four, nine starts in one, two, the third cell. So we know these three are three, four, nine. There's no seven in those. So that's the four, that's the seven. And these have to be the three, nine as part of the three, four, nine that starts in the third position. That means this isn't a three or a four. That's the two, that's the three, that's the four, which takes four out of those. This is a three, five, making that the four, looking back, making that the five, making that the three, making that the five, and there's no five in any of those. The three looks back, making that the nine, and that the three. Okay, so a lot of these clues are resolving each other already. I wonder if there's Sudoku we can do. Possibly, because this... Well, let's continue with these triples. 238 starts from the second. Um, the three cells start from the second because two is the lowest. So one, two. These are 238. I can't put two or three here. So this is the eight. And this is a two, three. Uh, three and five have to start from the third position. So three and five are in those. So if this was a three, I couldn't put three and five in those. So that becomes the two. That becomes the three. So maybe this five, seven, one, two, three, four, five. Five and seven have to be in those. I've got the five. It just means one of those two is a seven. Two and five have to be in those. So five has to be in one of those two because two and five have to be in those three, but I can't put a five here. So two and five are in those. Two is in one of those two, but I'm not yet ready to pencil mark across boxes. Two, four, six, however, starts in the second position. So these are two, four, and six. And the two looks down saying that's not a two. One, four, five are in those though. So this is actually one, four, five in those triples. So that can't be a two or a six. That's the four, that's the six, that's the two. And these are one and five, looking up saying, that's not the five, that's the five. Okay. So I've got the two. Let's mark clues that are done. Yeah, two and five have to start here and be in those. But that's the five and that can't be the two. So this is now the two. Okay, so what clues are done? So let's use the X's on the side. The one, four, five is done. The two, four, six is done. The two, five is done. The th five, seven is not done. The three, five is not done. The two, three, eight is done. I haven't looked at the six, nine yet. The three, four, five is done. The two, five, six is done. The two, three, four is done. The three, four, five is done. The one, four, seven. The three, four, nine. And the four, five, seven is done by the four, seven pencil marks. So we've got a lot of them done. Let's look at the six, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those three digits have to contain six and nine. So I know those are six and nine, and that marks this clue as done. This was not meant to be a particularly hard puzzle. It was supposed to introduce the constraint. And all I know is seven is in one of those two. And apart from that, I know I've got three and five. So one, two, three, three and five are in those. Well, that means five is in one of those two because the one five is looking up saying there's no five there. So five is in one of those two, which puts five in one of those two by Sudoku, but the same one five is looking up saying no five there, that's the five. Let's look at some Sudoku, shall we? I think it's time. Four in this box. That four says not there, that four says not there, and those two fours place a four there. This one is looking across, making that the five and that the one. So we need to put a one in one of those two by Sudoku. Six is not in any of those. So six is in one of those two. Three is down here, but I don't think that's it. It does put three up in one of those two. Two is in one of those. No, two is in one of those two, in fact, because I can't put two there and that two says not there. So two is in one of those two, which puts two in one of those two, but that two looks across saying not there and that becomes a two. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight, nine pair. That's something. I've got the four. Eight is down here as well. I think I still can put three in here. It will resolve somehow. So these are one, uh, one two, six, and eight. 
Yeah. No, this is a seven by Sudoku. I can't put seven in any of those. That's a seven. Okay. This is a... Oh, no, I've got the two. I was about to say this is a two-six pair, but that would be wrong. What is this triple? One, I've got two, three, four, five, six, and eight. These are one, six, and eight. There's no six there. Okay. I do know seven is in one of those two. And th yeah, I need to remember that. That could That's probably important. But I don't remember how. Four is not in any of those. That four knocks out those. That four knocks out those. So four is in one of those two. So this becomes a four, which means this is a four. And these are one, eight, and nine. There's no eight there. One is definitely in one of those two. So where is one in this box? I can't put one in any of those. That's the one. And this is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. This is a two, six, eight triple. There's no two at the bottom. And that's all I know. But that does take eight out of there. This is a one, nine pair. And that's the eight, which makes that the nine. This is a pair. One, two, three. Well, that means this isn't the six. This is the six. And the one is looking down, making this the eight. And I can just use the box. One, two, three. These are a three and five. There you go. That's something. Okay. I didn't want this to just collapse. And it hasn't, so that's good. Maybe, assuming I can solve it. Uh, one in this box? No. I know four is down here, but I've already got a lot of fours. Yeah, I'm down to this X-wing on fours. One. Eight is in one of those two by Sudoku, because this eight is looking down and that's looking across, which puts eight in one of those two. In fact, what is this triple? Because I've one, I've got two, three, four, five, six, one, seven, and nine go in. There's no nine here. So nine is in one of those. Oh, there's no one here. This is just a seven, nine. So this is the one. This is seven, nine, and this is now a triple, which is two, three, and eight. There's no two down here. Oh, there's no two in either of those. That's the two. This can't be the eight. So that's the three. That's the eight. The three looks across making that the five and that the eight. And these are one and seven. Okay. So these are five, seven, five, seven, and nine. And the five is looking down saying that's not the five. So this has to be the five because of the seven, nine pair. And the one, seven makes that the nine, that the seven, that the nine, which makes that the six and that the nine. This is now a pair. One, two, three, and eight. And the three is looking down, making that the eight and that the three. And I, uh, not quite. There's still a three in one of those two. But the five is looking up saying, that's not the five, not the five. This is the five. And now where do I put three in here? I can't put it here. I can't put it here. That has to be the three. And now this three, five clue is done. The only one I haven't done now is one of those two has to be a seven. Because starting from one, two, three, four, five, I have to put a seven in one of those three. So one of those two has to be a seven. And I haven't figured that out yet. These are one, six, and seven. Well, there's no seven there. What's this row? One, one, two, three, four, four one, six, and nine. Okay. Okay. Two is in one of those two. I did want to have these to ramp up a little. I, oh well, I succeeded. Or I'm blind again like I was yesterday. 
So these are one, six, seven, and nine. So this is six, seven, or nine. This can't be six or nine. So this is only one or seven. What am I missing in this column? One, three, seven, eight. There's no one, three here. So that's seven or eight. There's no one, three here. That's seven, eight. Because this column is missing one, three, seven, eight, and I can't put one or three in either of those. That's a seven, eight. There's no seven there. That's a one, six pair. That's the seven. That's the one. But the seven, eight here, this can't be a seven because the seven in this row has to be in one of those three. That's the eight. That's the seven. And now where does seven go in those three? It can't go in either of those two. That's the seven. That's the four. That was the final um, projected outside deduction. Um, now the seven looks like making that the one, which by Sudoku makes that the six, which means that's the nine. This column seems to be missing a three. And these digits are seven and eight. The six is looking down, making this the one. And these are one, two and six. This eight is looking back, making that the seven and that the eight, which takes seven out of there. In fact, this has to be resolved. Yes, the one looks across, making this the nine and this the one. The nine looks back, making this the six, and this sees a six and a nine, so that's the one. These are seven and nine. Not seeing the resolution on that yet, but this eight says that's not the eight, so that's the eight. This now has to be seven or nine for the column, and the seven says that's the nine, that's the seven, that's the nine. This is a triple, four, six, and seven. There's seven already in rows four and five, so those aren't the seven, that's the seven, and this four looks across making that the six and that the four. Um, the two looks back making that the six and that the two. The six looks back making that the eight, so we take eight out of there, and then I'll use the six to look back, making that the two and that the six. And that is the solution to in concert by Brimster. Now, projected outside is something, it may be new, it may be something that other people have done that I've not seen before. None of the people who tested this for me had seen this before, and none of the people that I ran the rules wording past had seen this before, which is why we've struggled to come up with a good rules wording. As I said, I hope you enjoyed the puzzle, and if you've got recommendations for a better way of wording the rules, please recommend it. When we do test these rules, we run them past people who aren't in the Sudoku community but are technical testers and make sure that they can understand the rule even though they don't know Sudoku. So relying on other Sudoku concepts isn't a valid way of doing it. And we do run it through translation software to make sure it translates into other languages and back again through different translation software to make sure that it is still valid. And we do make sure we do run it past people who speak other languages Languages to make sure that they it still works when it's being translated. If those don't pass, the wording doesn't work. This wording does pass those tests, but I still don't think it's quite right. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle. There's still a few more to come in this series. The difficulty will continue to ramp up, not for all of them, I think, but there's definitely a few more tricky ones to come. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.